What's up, everybody? Today I want to talk about using standard reduction potentials to find um, information about reactions that are not actually redox reactions. So first let's take two half reactions. And I'm going to be working with lead sulfate. and solid lead and it's going to be in equilibrium with solid lead and the sulfate ion and then we're going to look at the standard reduction potential for the lead 2 plus ion And if you add these up, you're going to get, actually it's just a solubility reaction. And this is nothing more than the equation for what it looks like when lead sulfate dissolves in solution. Okay. So the point of this is um, I can use the standard reduction potentials in a table to find the equilibrium constant for this and then from that I can find the KSP and the Gibbs free energy other things like that. So let's check this out. For the top reaction the reaction where the sulfate comes off of the lead we have E naught is equal to negative 355 five volts and for the bottom reaction just the reduction potential of lead 2 plus to lead 0 we have equal to negative 0 0.126 volts. Okay. Um, the top reaction we're going to assign positive and the bottom reaction we're going to assign negative. Okay. So, and if you just remember this equation, take the positive and subtract the negative from it and we are going to end up with this equation so overall the reduction potential for this reaction is negative 0 0.229 volts you might notice right away the sign is negative, so that means it is not going to be favorable. And we can calculate K from this. K is equal to 10 times 2, because we're moving two electrons, times negative 0 0.229. Zero point zero five one nine six. That's the constant we use at twenty five Celsius. And you're going to find this is equal to one point eight times ten to the negative eight. Now that's a really small number. It's less than one. And so that means the reaction is not going to be favorable because it's less than one. So this is actually the KSP for this reaction. It's as simple as that. Now what if you want to find the Gibbs free energy and you might know that the Gibbs free energy equation is equal to negative N 
Fs E, where N is the number of electrons in the reaction, F is the Faraday constant, and E is the potential difference. So let's try this out. Um, we are going to get negative 2 times 9.649 times 10 to the fourth and that is going to be multiplied by our potential difference for the cell the negative 2.99 volts so our negatives are, are going to cancel and we are going to end up with 44,192 joules Okay. And um, another interesting thing is that the Gibbs free energy is related to pretty much everything. And it's definitely related to the equilibrium constant. There's another equation for this. You might remember this. And this K is again. That is the KSP. So if you wanted to calculate the Gibbs first and then go to the KSP, and do you see this sign here? Just we should note that's a positive sign. And anytime you have a positive sign in the Gibbs free energy, that means it's non spontaneous. But let's go ahead and calculate this. And we're at 298 still. 25 degrees Celsius. All these are done at 25 Celsius. That's Kelvin. And that is equal to the ln of k. And if you actually calculate this out, you're going to get E. these up here and that's going to be equal to your KSP and when I did the math on this I got 1.79 times 10 to the negative 8 which is basically exactly what we got up here. So that's a um, a quick little how-to on using reduction potentials to find other things for non-redox reactions. All right, see you next time.